All right, thanks, Adam. Back to our coverage on the release of Sergeant Bo Bergdahl. He's, of course, from the town of Haley, and that's where we find our Karen Lair, who continues our live team coverage. Karen. Tammy, inside the coffee shop where Bo Bergdahl used to work, newspaper clippings, photos, and messages from members of the community completely cover this wall. Now, residents in Haley are still in disbelief to finally hear the news they've been waiting for for the last five years that Sergeant Bo Bergdahl is finally free. In the small, quiet town of Haley, Idaho, as herders move their sheep through town, big news also quickly spreads to members of the community. After being held captive by Taliban for nearly five years, Sergeant Bo Bergdahl of Haley is finally free at last. We were honking horns and just screaming. We were so excited. When you walk into any of the pubs or street, anything, people are like, Bo's coming home. You know, that's what you hear all the time. Just walk around, hear it everywhere. Miracles do happen, but um, I know a lot of hard work went into this one and a lot of commitment from uh, many, many people on many, many levels. And um, we're all grateful for that. Janet Fugate works downtown at Shorty's Diner. She says the community has really shown strength in the time Bo's been gone, sticking together and supporting the Bergdahl family. In this community, uh, anybody's child is everybody's child. I literally felt overwhelmed. And um, what I did was I stopped and I prayed and, and thanked God for his, his return and, um, and wished the best for him and that he'll He'll ultimately be as, as whole as possible. In just a matter of hours, bring Bo back signs were quickly replaced with posters finally saying, Bo is back. Since U.S. officials first released the name of the captured soldier, yellow ribbons have lined the streets of Haley. Community members have even replaced the yellow ribbons downtown every six months for the last five years to show their support to the Bergdahl family and to show Bo they never gave up hope. We've always had hope that he will come back alive and everything. Every time there was a new video of him, it was like, oh, he's still alive, you know, or he's not gone. Like, that was the important thing. He's still out there. So now that he's really coming back, it's a huge deal. Although some people are skeptical about the release of Bergdahl, traded for five Taliban imprisoned at Guantanamo Bay, Haley residents are solely focused on celebration. I think the bottom line is, is that Bo's home and whatever controversy there might be, I think this community feels the return is the highlight and the most important thing. So throughout the last five years, friends of the family and even complete strangers have stopped by to write messages and well wishes to the Bergdahl family. So many that they filled up four posters this size and even had to start a book of, of messages that they plan to give to Bo when he finally makes it back to his hometown here in Haley, Idaho. Live in Haley, I'm Karen Lair. Today, six on your side.